I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now... Oh, what the fuck, lady? What the fuck, lady? Lady, 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 angel, what the fuck? Lady. <laughs> lady, what the fuck? One was the victims, and the other blood matched the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. This shoe proves it. It's flawless evidence. There was blood found on that shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Witness, why the fuck are you holding, first of all, a picture and now a shoe? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Like, first she had a picture, now she has a shoe. Just everyone's got, everyone's got fucking evidence everywhere. Who doesn't have evidence? You got evidence, I got evidence, everyone's got evidence, man. And, we had blood tests performed? Did I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. No, no court should accept it as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a fucking second. Wait a fucking second, Edgeworth. This... Uh, we bring up evidence all the fucking time! <laughs> what are you talking about? We... Everyone always brings up evidence. And you didn't do this to the first photograph. The first photograph was apparently okay, but now this one's not okay? The first surprise evidence is just like, sure, whatever, but this second surprise evidence? Well, you gotta prove it first. But what about all the other evidences in every single case we've had so far? Why are those okay? This shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Seems so. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. I guess, I mean, yeah, sure, if I if I hide evidence and illegally have the forensics team do tests on it, I guess it's okay. I mean, as long as the police, here, the, everybody knows that as long as the police officer has touched evidence, right? As long as the police officer's hand has touched evidence, that evidence is now legal to use, right? It's just like, it's just like, you know, it's just like cooties. If someone touches you, you have cooties. If a girl touches you, you must get a cootie shot in order to remove cooties. That's just the same thing. If a police officer touches evidence, it is now admissible in court. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence. Is that true? It, is it true though? It, is, is that true? Apparently this rule is made Five minutes ago, you know, after the first gotcha evidence that she introduced to us. Prosecution's complaints now with notwithstanding, it appears that the evidence satisfied the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Victim's shoe added to the court records. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine a witness. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. Why'd you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted to look at the results. How many times will I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy devout lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. Hmm. False testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Let's get this over with. How is she not already in trouble of perjury? So in the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring this up? You found this shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe is my secret weapon if that should happen. 
Whose shoe is that? Carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. You removed valuable evidence from this crime scene. Tell us what you did next. Two types of blood were found in a shoe. One, of course, was the victim's. Does, does, are her feet included in this photo here? Yeah. Who the fuck's shoe is that? So you brought it to the friends' apartment. If you're gonna submit something as evidence in court, you need to approve it. The man was stabbed. And that blood belonged to the victim. So there was two types of blood. The other blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with a blood test. You claim to know something with blood tests? Well, speak up! <laughs> you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. We can differentiate between millions of types with all the blood tests out there. Which means we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. They said there's very little doubt it could be anyone but Miss Lana Skies. Miss Lana Skies is going to say that. She proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the peppered fish guts? That look, it looks pretty good. Some like it hot. Some like it cold. Some like it in a pot five days old. Mr. Right. Do you do not have a problem with this shoe? A problem? Hmm. There is a problem. If I'm not imagining things, there is one critical problem with this evidence. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I give you a peppered fish gut now, but you couldn't take the heat, could you? Let's see what you, Mr. Wright has to say. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Um, the entire- is it- is it the, the entire shoe? I mean, on, honestly, I want to say the entire fucking shoe. Like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't- I don't understand. I... I, I, I actually don't understand. Whoops. The problem is here. Fuck. God damn it, Phoenix. Is it... <laughs> well, alright. Man, I fucked up being on one health. Shit, when was the last time we saved? I couldn't save on that screen. Ah, oh, shit. Objection. Objection. Seriously, the shoe's the wrong color. Whose shoe is that? I don't know what the other problem I would have with it is. Like, is is not the entire shoe the wrong color? Maybe it's the heels. Objection. Objection. 
Okay. See, I, all, all I see, first of all, is the gigantic glaring problem that the shoe is white. There's blood here, too. On the sole of the shoe, it's gotta be the victim. He must have stepped in a puddle of his own blood. Oh, he... This is his shoe. Okay. This is the dude's shoe. Alright, alright. I gotcha, I gotcha. There's a problem. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood in the bottom of this shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or I'll, it'll be your blood in the bottom of my shoe. Indeed, there's quite a bit of blood in the bottom of this shoe. Makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. Possibly contradictory about the blood in the bottom of his shoe. How am I gonna say he had to step in his own blood? Oops! Oh god, ah oh, shit. Alright, let me save again. Oh, I gotta save so many times. No, I can't save on this screen! Fuck! What happened to the picture of... Oh, wait, no, that's right, that was the picture. Hmm. Alright, it's gotta be either crime photo or the actual shoe itself. I'm gonna go with crime photo. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? There we go. As you can see, there are no traces of any footprints at the scene of the crime. There's no places of blood fucking anywhere. Are you kidding? Like, there's blood in this jacket, but no blood on her hands. No blood on her sleeves. No blood on her shirt. There's no blood anywhere except for on the jacket. No blood on her face. No blood splatter at all. Dexter would have a field day. Picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Objection. I was at the scene of the crime. We checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Hey. Order, order! Well, witness! Get going. But, is it true the lack of a footprint is a contradiction? We have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Because the evidence was staged. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There is one vital hint of truth in her testimony. Think back to when she told us about the apprehending the suspect. Tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. She's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, that one. I thought that was a strange thing a normally cool-headed chief to do. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh. I'm not sure. I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Well, it was full of water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright? Do you want to knock over to Reese? Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? You don't mean. The suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains of the evidence against her. That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. After all, water washes away all bloodstains without any trace. Fact. 
Why? That's a prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. That reminds me, Miss Sky's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe. Well, no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please! What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime, and she tried to conceal it. But... Enough. There's no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor? Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecution's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Little girl, what did you just say? Me? Did you just say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side? Well, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are, demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox called Evidence. Oh my God, are you gonna make more fucking evidence? Don't you? Don't you fucking dare! Any further con comments, and you'll be held in contempt of court. If that don't scare me, cough. Don't scare the cough up queen. Look at this! God fucking damn it! Well, okay. Well, if that doesn't prove- here, here, I have a video! I have a videotape of her murdering the guy. A video confession for her while she's stabbing him. I had it just in case. Anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. I see no room for error in this evidence. Wait, look at the asphalt in this photo. It's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And... It seemed this is what your sister wanted anyways. I'm sorry, Mia. Oof. Wet. <laughs> Wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. I'm moist. Get yourself up. I'm... Oh, Mia, you always help me get up, Mia. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. This is the last piece of evidence. Uh, uh, I mean, we thought that two pieces of evidence ago. Objection! Objection. <sighs> Your Honor, wait. This, it'll be too late. Look at this photograph! Look at this photograph. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right, are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. There's a problem. I suppose since we've gone this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the courts a problem with this evidence. So, first of all, I don't know what this thing is. Hey, plush Neko, how you doing? Uh, I don't, I don't know what that thing is. Oh, that's that's the that's the the muffler that she was trying to tell us about. I don't think that's the problem. Um, single stab wound, check. This means it had to be taken after the crime. Should we should we go with the thing in the muffler? Or do you think there's a problem with the water? There's gotta be one of those two. Either the thing in the muffler. I can't I can't I can't go back and check. I'm pretty sure it was the right foot. Like I'm pretty sure that's the right shoe. It's the right shoe, but I also think it's the correct shoe. 
a muffler in the muffler. All right, let's go with let's go with muffler. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Your Honor, you just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf in any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also a part in a car, Your, your Honor. Just think of it as part of an exhaust system. I see. What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? So what there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does it have to do with the case? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much. Sa yes, yeah, said so much. You said as much in your testimony. What? Nani? Tell us why you think this is important. The word muffler. Miss Star, recall your testimony for the court. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she said, the muffler. Muffler. Yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. <laughs> and no one noticed it at the actual crime scene. Suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. We leave any question unanswered. We do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring in that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Phew, that was close. But we made it at least for now. This court will adjourn it for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime. Still hungry? I'm always hungry, bro. Ah, oh, we made it out. We only failed like three times. Bow, 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 bow. February 23rd, noon. Mr. Wright, our trials always like this with you. Are you always so incompetent? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of the lake about to reach the surface. But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today, we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister anyways? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. <sighs> Probably something to do with the piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. Hola, partner! They say you show a red bull. Uh, you sh they say you show a red cloth to a bull. It'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come take a look see at how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. Like at the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That's hard to slip out, huh? Oh, that hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there anyways? All the police I've seen these last two days have really been on edge. Don't think got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre. You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Uh, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now. Don't that just beat all? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. Saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. Nani? At the award ceremony that afternoon, Edgeworth seen it, too, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph, taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. She was wearing one in detention. So, Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let the bull go where it will. Time will tell. I have a bad feeling about this. 
So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Yes, I'm down, dude. I like ribs. I'm down. Wait, are we already back? In oh, it's only 30 minutes. I'd like to resume? The judge keeps looking over the prosecution. <laughs> Something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue. Your lips are purple. Your knees weak, arms spaghetti. Those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. That's what's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent, your knees weak, arms heavy, mom spaghetti. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well, then I believe it's time we continue on with this trial. During our. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable! Excuse me, knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Who the fucky fucks is this? Is this circus music? Is this church music? Is that what's going on here? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, C9, how you doing? Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Um, it's you. He's got the same symbol as a uh, Marshall. Get the same symbol as Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, hello, game. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm late. OG, uh, the roads are packed. It's just me, like judgy. Long time no see, eh, OG? How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, oh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy, smizzy, OG, uh, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Seems to be his nickname for judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Sorry, but who are you? You're Raito, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Ah, oh, thanks. Sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble. You know, we should all go swimming together sometimes. Jolly. A little worthy. Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police? No, Phoenix Wright doesn't know a single person who works here. Chief of police. He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. Why does he have a cross as his necktie? Name's Grant. Damon Grant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, what are we going to honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Oh, Gant? Damon, Damon, Damon Gant? It's worthy here. Look at the, look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's my sister's muffler. So Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Guy really was wearing that muffler. But I think it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. On oh, little Worthy's car, no less. Why does it keep pausing on him like that? Really quite embarrassing, even for us. Nunny! It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth. How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigations are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, now, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistake that signature is there. Miles Edgeworth. That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had. Your head's in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I expect a written apology. Nani, are you serious? Don't be upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a lost words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor. 
Yes. Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. Dragon Master, you went to Fogo yesterday for your friend's birthday? Damn, Frank also went to Fogo yes uh, today. Everyone's going to Fogo. Shit, guys. Someone donate 50 bucks so I can take the waifu out to Fogo. Come on. I deserve it. God damn it. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes. Well, I think y'all do is push it. Oh, yeah, cut yourself, Phoenix. If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. If I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at people anymore. Come on, just hurry up. No. Ah, don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? Switchblade knife. Add it to the court records. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask to testify, you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police? And this knife. This guy reminds me of like a lot of like older characters from anime. I can't think of anyone. Oh, you know who it reminds me of? He reminds me of Shinji's dad. That's a design, like a like a like a happy-go-lucky Shinji dad. Just his actual design, not his personality. Sure thing, not a problem. Not even a little one, really. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Why not? Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. It was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. What a mess. The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? Not officially linked in this case here, so I can't talk much about it. That's weird. What? That's hush hush information, Uji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodwin was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order, order, order! Anyways. We're in the middle of a top top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone. I think we understood the police department's situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places? The chances of that are really slim. Scientific oh fuck. I'd like to exercise my right to cross examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Oh boy, that's a lot. I hope do I have one hit point still? Oh, I got more hit points. Whoop, whoop. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Excuse me, special? Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Might that special thing be this little tag? Sorry, Raito, but I can't say that now. Not that. A knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? It's quite a mystery. It's wrapped in something, a muffler. Unless there's evidence to prove connection between the knife and Goodman. This knife was found in the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things go on in the department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Raito. Maybe there's something about the knife that gives us a clue. Ah. 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 Okay, 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 okay. There's a small tag on the knife. It says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? Not sure. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. SL9. SL9. Present. Wait a second. 
Please, don't play these up and upside down names numbers with me. I've been trained by Dungan Rumpa. Case number one. And honest to goodness, what do you mean from Uji? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It says SL92. This is important, why? Over here, we also have a memo. That's on the body of the victim. Hmm, nunny. 6 minus 7S, 2B, 0, 2. Your honor, it's upside down. Holy shit, no way! The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? Bippity boppity boo! <gasps> Aha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. The same thing that's written on a nice tag. Order, order. Well, chief? Ah, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Raito. I don't know why we're playing this game. Yeah. This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the apartment's evidence room. That seems pretty obvious. So this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say? Nice. Could show a little worthy, it's just a murder weapon. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from our case long since solved, two years ago. It was found in an exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. A case two years ago, right? Come on, say it. It's a bad day for the department. Something happened at the police department? You got a good look in your eyes, Raito, my boy. Sharp, hungry. So, something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Why? Why didn't you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy with that Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? The detective was killed. On the same day that a detective was killed in a prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Uji? I'm a loss for words. This guy is so... The chief of police is so happy about his police officers being murdered. He is, like, jolly-go-lucky about these murders, man. Well, there was a suspect just arrested him, in fact. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Raito. I suppose. Good one, this kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing only, and that was... What? I'll tell you one thing only, and only, and only, one, I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Uh, when the victim died, where was he? He already told me when he died. Where was the victim found? I can't speak on where the corpse was found, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. Wait a second, I've heard of that. The evidence room? Did he mention that in his testimony just now? The knife was evidence in the case, stolen from the evidence room. There is a connection between the two cases. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. It's not officially linked, so I can't talk much about it. Chief, the defense's prostitution, pros position, prostitution, hello? Simply this, the connection between these two cases has already been proven. You don't say, well out with it, right? So what's your connection? The connection is a piece mentioned in the testimony I just heard. The knife found in a lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. We also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in the very same e in that very same evidence room. Indeed, there do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. He has like Dunganrumpa eyes or something, man. You two make a good pair. 
Took my men two days to find out what you deducted right here. Wow, your men suck. I request you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. Hasn't been announced yet, and all. Can we get the information? Unofficially? Pretty please? Nope. Oh, okay. Who would have guessed? I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department. If you're gonna tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Okay. How about you tell us the victim's ID number? Sure, why not? Uh, tight lid and ID numbers, so you won't go getting your hopes up. 5842189. Dun, dun, dun! That's quite long. We have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Do you even get the first number right? Well, Mr. Wright, does it tell you anything? ID number tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? That there's only been one murder, that the murderer stuffed the body into Edgeworth's car, Edgeworth drove it home, Lana opened the... Uh, Lana opened up the... Was it was her name Lana? Sky opened up the trunk and ba-bing! Ba-boom! Surprise! Dead body. I, was she was she dumb enough to pull the knife out of his chest like an idiot? What? Okay, yeah. Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. That's a weird thing to say, Your Honor. It's just I got confused. Is this the news? Just come out with both guns blazing like you always do. The police department. The prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Were there two murders though? Dun dun dun! Wait, where is their body? Do they have a body? Is it yours? No, Your Honor. I'm a defense attorney. This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Raito. Personnel IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID is 5842189. And this means what? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. The number 584. Wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh, ho, ho, sharp as attack, Raito, sharp as attack. He was killed at 515 in an underground parking lot. Or was he? But Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. That's impossible. The same person was killed at the same time in a completely different location? God damn teleporting mutants, man. He's Nightcrawler. Order, order, order in the court. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? It's top secret fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? You'll recite the grave error? Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. Nani? How, how dare you? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright. He, uh, he was a guy that he got shoved out. Excuse me, this is Mr. Edgeworth. Is Mr. Edgeworth here? You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. Your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Alana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. 
Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. It seemed challenged. Wow, rude! Holy shit, cold girl! In any case, it's a serious error, a gross negligence of duty in our part. On your part, Worthy. But sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... No such luck this time, Worthy, or should I say unworthy? Got him! Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Mr. Wright? Rule two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant, relevant to the case on trial. How's that rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court, but yet, but yet, but yet the other lady, the lunch lady, could have brought in whatever evidence she wants. The connection was just proven by Raito over there. Good job, right, my boy. Ah, uh, thanks. No. Nyar! No, my kudos points, my gold star. No! Seems we've come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy, with all these rumors. You were even in the defense chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please. Just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. If it's the last thing I do, everything can be solved in one day. Or three, because it's usually three-day trials. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I'll grant one further day, as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? No, because we're going to go to day three. It's a fact. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Hmm, someone needs a big spanking. Court is adjourned. Someone's gonna get spanking. Well, naughty boy, naughty boy gets a spanking. Save. Uh, Mr. Wright, what's going on with the case anyways? I'm a little confused. We all are. The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed. 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot in the police department's evidence room. And the evidence room part. You were right there, girl. So we're gonna find out, or try to at least. All right, let's do it. Don't be so sure. Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove... These thick rim glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go! Science awaits! You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? How the fuck does anyone think that there were two murders? Like, like really though? Really? How the flying fuck has anyone not figured out that the guy was stabbed in the evidence room, then put into the back of the car, then driven over here, and then found over here? How does how do people even possibly think that he was murdered twice, but not murdered in but the, but he wasn't found in the police station, but he's found over here, so therefore he must have been killed two times? How? It was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. The oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over, was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at crime scene? Never. That's not at all. Just, we're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Whether it was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. I want I want you guys to just try to just splash water. Like next 
Just try to splash water in a blood stain and see what happens. Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing. Luminol fluid! Ooh, don't, ooh, don't, 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 don't be spraying that anywhere near my room. You don't want to see what glows, I promise you. Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Thank you, Emma. Even you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done these tests? Never trust anyone else's eyes, but our own. Just give it a try. Why do I have to do it? I'm a miner, I can't even drink yet. What? What? Nani? Oh my god, luminol blood glasses. This is pretty cute. Like this. Ah! Press enter to spray it. Okay. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Yeah, <laughs> blood. It's just this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific invest. Eh. We definitely know this is a blood stain. Why isn't something strike you as odd? Scientific. <sighs> the per perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? Definitely think so. Look at all the blood in the shoe. It is pretty strange. They fought here. There'd have to have been more blood than this. Hmm. I'm gonna mark up the floor plan when we fell on the blood stain. Yeah, this is the last case in the game. I'm pretty handy to have around, huh? Yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved up my allowance to buy it. Costs about tree fitty. Okay, Google. Buy luminol testing fluid. Sorry, I couldn't find what you wanted, but can I help you with anything else? Buy crime scene testing fluid. Sorry, I didn't get that, but can I help you with anything else? How do I hide a body? I'm sure the police would be happy to help. Okay, Google. Find nearest swamp near me. I found several okay, options. Google, stop. Sure, cancel. Can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fa fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their side of the view, view of the case. Let's drag that hidden evidence out into the light of day. Feels like we're really investing in crime scene now, don't it? Guess if you have to spray on anything suspicious. Spray her! Spray her! Miss Star. You only trust your own eyes, huh? Not bad, you two. Weird, you have, uh, you, you, everything glows right around your mouth. I wonder why. Dude, nice! Fuck yeah! Sorry, it's just that kind of lead in doesn't really get my mouth watering. I guess my vagina watering. Certainly put me on a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but no, 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 it's okay. It was my fault. I witnessed everything from that security room right there, but I was afraid that I wouldn't sound convincing enough, you'd see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. You lied in a witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the evidence place I witnessed the evidence events from was different, I still saw what I saw. Stab a man in cold blood. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes. It was a long time ago. Two years ago. No matter how hard the criminal, when they faced me, they coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. Before long they called me Cough Up Queen. And you were let go, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. If these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. 
It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9? Damn, it's always SL9. It's pretty red. What model car is it? I think it was called a sedan or a coupe. Those are car types, not models. You're a guy, aren't you? You're supposed to know these things. I don't. I don't know cars. That's where we found that note. A case that was due for transferal the day of the murder. The detective in charge of the case was the victim. I know what kind of case the SL9 incident thing was. Oh yes, DL6 was the first one. This is SL9. This rope, is it? Yep, they lay an outline in the victim's body. Comically so. Can I present Luminol? Take a look at this. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, I said you were a hot tea. We pre-infused the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is waste of time. Okay, actually, before we get into this whole investigative part... It is now 12.30pm. I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'm gonna tell you guys something... SOMETHING PRIVATE! <sighs> no, I'm gonna... because we have to do the... we have to edit the video for One Piece Treasure Cruise. No, I have a... I have an ingrown hair. In my groin. And it is very, very painful. Or at least I hope it's an ingrown hair. You guys have... remember I had my... had my ice pack yesterday on it. Still hurts today! I'm a little concerned. Hopefully, I mean, if it, go, if it goes on in by, like, Sunday, today's Friday, if it still hurts Sunday, I might have to go get that checked out. I don't want to. Because it's going to cost money. So I'm going to hope the swelling goes down. That's my plan. To ignore medical issues until it goes away. And if it goes away, great. Hopefully it does so. But until then, I'm going to edit some One Piece Trackers videos. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Thanks for that lovely, lovely, very, very uh, exciting story, right? My name's Zinigami. If this is your first time here, welcome to the stream. I am a full-time streamer. This is my full-time job, and I hope you're having a great time as we play through Phoenix, right? I am a full-time variety streamer. We play all sorts of games. If you want to hang out with us more, we're hanging out on Discord all the time. Exclamation mark Discord. Link over there. I talk on Twitter. I am on YouTube. You can follow us all these places. And I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central ish.